Hello and welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to number equations in LaTeX. Why would you want to know how to do this? Well, maybe you're creating a document where you would like to reference, where you would like to refer back to any equations that you've typed later on in your text. And this is a lot easier if you number your equations. So I'll be showing you how to number equations in LaTeX today. Check out the video description as I will try and leave written instructions there. So let's get started. I'm already in my template that I'm going to be using today, and I'm just going to zoom into the code a bit so it's easier to see. I'm also in my document environment. So generally, when we type equations in display mode, we use the double dollar signs, or at least that's what I do. Um, so I'm going to quickly type up an equation that will demonstrate this. And let me just recompile that. So as you can see, this is my equation in the display mode environment. And as you can see, it doesn't have a labeling or anything. So to actually label or number your equations, what you're going to do is you're going to put this equation you're going to put your equation in a equation environment actually there's a lot you can do so you can put it in a gather environment as well i prefer the gather environment for certain reasons but i'm just going to show you with the begin equation environment so when you do that make sure that you select just equation if you select the option that says equation with a star that will actually remove the numbering of your equations so make sure that you're choosing just equation as is and now if you type up your equation and i've just recompiled this as you can see my equation has a label it's label number one and yeah, then you can reference or refer back to your equation later on in your document. And that's basically it. If you wanted to know how to number equations in LaTeX, this is the easiest way I know how. And if you know of another way, then leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more videos.